Hi everyone, today in this video we're going to be looking at how to connect a Skype call into your live video productions for interviews and remote content. The most recent Skype update has made connecting Skype a whole lot easier. The Skype for Content Creators update has added NDI capabilities for the very first time. This is exciting news as it means that you can use NDI to input a Skype call into vMix and your live video production. NDI is a standard that allows you to input and output video content over a local network. If you'd like some more info about NDI, you can check out the links in the description. Prior to this update in Skype, you used to have to use virtual audio cables and a second machine, but today I'm going to show you how to set it all up on one PC. I'll also show you how to get rid of any annoying audio echoes in vMix so that you can create your own audio mix to send to Skype, and how you can send your vMix production to your Skype caller. Now I'll also show you how you can add your Skype call into vMix via NDI. So here's a really quick picture of what we're going to set up. We're going to go from vMix and we're going to send our NDI output by the NDI virtual camera into Skype. And then we're going to take our Skype guest and we're going to add it into vMix via NDI. I'll also be linking our knowledge base guide in the description if you'd prefer a more concise method to follow step by step. Now there are a couple of things that you will need to have installed on your computer to get this going. Firstly, you'll need to make sure that you have the latest version of Skype for Windows installed. This is the Skype version that you can download from their website, and the link will be in the description. This is not the Skype version that you can get from the Windows App Store. The current version is 8.29.0.50, although I'm sure it'll be much higher if you're watching this in the future. Now in order to use our vMix audio and video in Skype, you'll also need to install NewTek's NDI Tools Pack. NewTek have developed the NDI standard, so they offer a free tools pack with different NDI apps that are handy for video production. We'll be using the NDI virtual camera app that will allow us to send video from vMix to Skype via NDI. The link for the download is in the description, which is getting longer by the second. Now, finally, you will need to have vMix 21 or later installed. You can head to vMix.com for all your vMix needs. First of all, we're going to need to set up your NDI and audio settings in vMix. With any video calling interview, you want to be able to control the audio you're using. You don't want to be sending them back their own audio. So in order to set this up, you'll just need to go into the vMix settings. And I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so I've just <laughs> jumped into the vMix interface here. Uh, so you just need to go to the settings section and then go to outputs slash NDI. Now for our Skype call, we're going to be sending the caller um, our output from our vMix production. So some people might call this the program, but we call it output. So we're going to be sending what's in this screen here, so our main output from vMix. So along here, you'll need to make sure that you turn NDI on for that so we can send out our main output via NDI. Now next to this, we can adjust the audio settings. So we don't want to be sending the master audio to our Skype call because that will include their own audio, so they'll hear an echo. So in vMix, you can create a separate audio mix. So we're going to create a completely different audio version for them to hear. So we're going to go here and select bus A. So for this section, just make sure that you select bus A, which will create a separate audio mix that we can send to our Skype caller. And then once we've done that, we'll click OK. Now keep in mind, this is just your NDI output settings. If you're doing a recording in vMix, it will still include your master audio if you want it to, but this is just your NDI output settings. So we'll click OK. Now underneath that, we will click OK as well. OK, so now we've got our NDI output and we've got our separate audio mix going out. So now we just need to make sure that we have got that bus A set up in our audio output settings. So I'm just going to go to settings and then go to audio outputs here. Now when we go into the audio output settings, we need to make sure that we have the separate bus enabled, so the separate mix. So you'll see A and B, and these represent the buses that you can select. So by default, this will probably be on none. Um, well, it will be. Uh, so you'll need to select enabled uh, and then click OK. So that's going to enable that second bus that we can use for the separate audio mix. Now, it will restart vMix when you select that different bus, so just keep that in mind that vMix will restart and then open up again. All right, so now that we've got a custom audio mix set up, we need to choose what inputs we want to send our caller. So we're going to go into the audio mix here, and you'll notice now that you'll see in the little A button here. So the A represents 
bus A. So what I'm sending out over that particular, particular custom uh, mix. So what I want to do is want to make sure that I select bus A for my microphone. Um, I don't want to be sending them the total audio, which will include their audio when it comes in. I just want to be selecting um, bus A. Now, if I have other videos that I need them to interact with, when I added that video file, I can go and select to send that over bus A as well. Now, keep in mind that you do still want to keep the M selected. So M is master. So if you're streaming and recording, make sure that you always have the M selected, but you can use the A to select what you want to just send the caller. Now, one final audio thing to consider is whether you, you want to hear your own microphone in your headphones or not. Typically, I don't like hearing my own voice. So I go into the audio mixer and the audio input and I can turn on and off the headphones. So I've got that off at the moment. That way I don't hear my own voice echo. I find it really annoying. But if you wanted to, you can turn that on or you can turn down the volume in your own headphones for a particular audio input. Now, the final thing that you will need to do in vMix is set up the ability to connect your NDI output to the Skype call via NDI. So in order to do that, we will need to use that NDI virtual camera app. So what I need to do is just go to Windows uh, and then select the virtual camera app here. And then I need to go and select it from the bottom right hand corner down here. So I can select it and then I can right click on it. And by right clicking it, it will show you all of the NDI sources that are available on my network. Now what I want to do is I want to select Dragonstone, which is the name of our PC, uh, and then select vMix Output 1. So that's the Output 1 that we selected before in the settings um, that we want to send to our Skype caller. So I'm going to click that now. All right, so that is all we need to do to set up in vMix. We've now got our separate audio mix that we're sending our Skype caller, and now we've just connected up our NDI audio and video um, to the NDI app that's going to then send it into Skype. So now I'm going to jump over to Skype and show you how to set that up. All right, so here we are in Skype. So what I need to do now is go to settings, which can be selected from here, or I can click on my icon and go from there. So I can go to the settings section, and then I need to go to calling. And once I'm there, I need to click on advanced. Now you'll notice here that we have allow NDI usage. So we want to select that and turn on NDI usage. Next, we'll need to go into the audio and video and set that up. So for the microphone, I'll need to select the uh, line NDI audio. So I need to select that one. Now I want to make sure that my speakers are all the way down. So if I have Skype on the same computer, I don't want to hear audio from the Skype call and then hear it reverbed in vMix as well. So I'm just going to be use the audio from my Skype caller in vMix. I'm going to turn my speakers down for that one. And for the video here, I need to select the N New Tech NDI video, which I've got set up now. Okay, so now I just need to find somebody that will answer my Skype call. So I'm going to organize that now so we can add them to our vMix production. All right, so now we're going to try and bring in this Skype call. So we just need to go to Add Input, go to NDI, and here we have a smiling Ben here that I can add to my production. So Ben's now currently in my production here. Um, we can't hear him because we've got the audio off, um, but if I wanted to use him in the production, I could bring him in. Um, I could bring him now, and now we can hear his audio. Can you say hi for us, Ben? Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing uh, pretty good, thank you. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. So thanks for helping us out on this. Uh, now I'm just going to mute you. No offense or anything. I'm just going to mute you for a second. You are still on the video, so don't do anything crazy. You can flex if you want to, but um, probably you know, don't. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to mute you for a second. So now, now Ben's audio is obviously not coming through. Now I could choose in here to do uh, like to automatically mix the audio uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted it to remain on at all times um, that I control it, I could turn that off there. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Now I can then go to add input and do things like a virtual set. So I could add Ben to a, you know, a double box here like so. Um, I'm going to set this up. Let's go with box one. We'll chuck Ben in box one and put me in box two, which is me here. Uh, and so now we have a double box effect. So I can now um, bring him in and then I can add his audio. So now you're back with us again. Everyone can hear you. So um, can you just remind us uh, how much the vMix 21 update cost? Um, so the uh, vMix 21 update is free. 
Okay, so thanks for joining us today, Ben. Uh, ben is one of our hand models, so if you go to vmixhandmodels.com, uh, you can book him there. Uh, so yeah, thanks for joining us, and I'm just going to uh, boot you off now, if that's all right. So thanks for joining us. All right, so that is Skype with vmix. Um, as soon as you've got the Skype video into your production, you can use it like a normal input, how you normally would. Like I said, picture in picture, double box, all that kind of stuff you can add into your production and use them. Uh, so. Ben keeps trying to call me. Stop calling me. Uh, so if you have any questions about using this method uh, for Skype output into vMix, uh, please send us through an email uh, via our website. It's hard to give technical support on a YouTube comment. But if you do have any questions or anything about this implementation, uh, send us an email via vMix.com. Don't forget, we'll have a knowledge base article a guide as well if you want to follow it step by step if you want to learn how to add this Skype call into vMix. Uh, yeah, and if you want to try vMix for free, we do have a 60 day free trial with no watermarks of the pro version. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60 day trial. See you later.